Okay, this is just a short video to show you how to use Audacity to record the voiceovers for your digital stories. First of all, you need to make sure that on the computer you're using, you've downloaded both the Audacity software as well as the Lame Encoder. If you haven't downloaded the Lame Encoder, you're not going to be able to export your file in the appropriate format. So make sure you've actually got both on your computer. If you're using the university computers, those will be automatically installed for you. So you come and open Audacity. And what you need to do is to make sure that the microphone you're using is the one that Audacity has selected. So in this case, I'm using the Yeti stereo microphone. You also need to make sure that it's showing one mono here. Now, as with anything, the first thing that you do is to save the project. So I'm just going to save this as test, well, test one. Um, and make sure that you save as you go along. Okay, so now the next thing to do is to make sure that the microphone is working. So you click on this arrow here and press start monitoring. Now you can see that this red line comes up and what you need to do is to make sure that when you're talking, the red line is constantly hitting the, the mark between minus 12 and zero. Anything below that means that your voice is going to be quite soft and the audio recording won't be of very high quality. So make sure that the, the red line is in between these two sort of numbers as you go along. Okay, so now you're ready to record your story. Um, and it's always good a, a good idea to leave a little bit of silence at the beginning and at the end of each sentence. You don't have to record everything in one go. You can press stop and start recording again. Um, although if you want to go in full flow for the whole time, that's entirely up to you. So I'm going to start recording. So here I am recording my digital story as a test. Um, and you can see, obviously, the microphone is working. But you can also see that I've left a gap here and here. And then if I've wanted to like have a cough, take a sip of water and start recording again, I just click where I'd like to pick up again and then press record again. And you can see now that it's picking up where I left off. And you can do this again and again and again. Now, once you're happy with your story, you can add special effects if you want. So as with everything, less, I think, is more. Um, a common special effect is to have a sort of fade in and fade out of the voice. So if you want to do that, select the part that you would like to fade into, go to effect, press fade in. Um, simil similarly, you can also fade out at the very end of your audio. And remember, of course, to save, save, save. When you're happy with your story and the way it's come out, you need to export the file as a WAV. Um, and so this is where the lame encoder comes into its own. So go File, Export Audio, and let's save it as Test. And you need to make sure that you've, you've selected it as a WAV. Okay, WAV. Press save, and you go, oh yes, thank you very much. Um, and here, well, you can have a little bit of fun if you like, if you want to put yourself down as sort of, I mean, put yourself down as JD, I don't mind. Um, track title, test, um, whatever you sort of would like. And then press OK. Um, and basically then what you'll find is that you have a web file that you can bring to the next seminar and that you can use in WeVideo. Um, so once you've got this, you're done. All right.